All right. The recent polio outbreak in New York is raising questions about the disease. It's also raising concerns about vaccinations. Yeah, and joining us, Dr. Dodd, Daisy Dodd. She's an infectious disease specialist with Kaiser Permanente Orange County. She joins us live. Doctor, good morning. All right, so, Doctor, the big question. How do you contract polio, and does it affect people of all ages? Uh, yes, the way that we can tag polio, poliomyelitis, is transmitted through a virus, uh, which we can get from an infected individual. Uh, basically, it's an enterovirus. Uh, it's transmitted uh, through what we call fecal oral route, meaning that it goes through the mouth, it comes out through the anus. And so if you uh, are, are, are dealing with contaminated food or drinks, theoretically, you can get in the infection. Anybody can get the infection. Uh, it is more susceptible in small children who have not been vaccinated. It's an infection that actually has been pretty much eradicated from the uh, face of the earth with a few exceptions. Pakistan and Afghanistan they still have uh, active poliomyelitis. But as we hear about what's going on in New York, it's raising a lot of questions about whether children are prote protected today and, and whether adults are as well. What can you tell us about that? Uh, yes, the case that has been uh, mentioned in New York, uh, we think that perhaps it's an individual that might have migrated uh, and had taken the oral vaccine. Uh, if you take the oral vaccine, it's a live inactivated vaccine. And so if you take it through the mouth, you're able to excrete it through the rectum. Uh, usually uh, such a transmission uh, is what we see more often around the world. We don't see it as much in the United States because here in the U.S., since the year 2000, we're given what we call the IPV or the inactive uh, vaccine, uh, which is not uh, transmissible uh, through perhaps through contaminated uh, food or water. Uh, it is important to determine the fact that in New York, they have found the waters. Uh, we have a means of determining genetic material uh, of viruses and other infections. That's how we uh, determine what kind of activity might be going into the community in the way waters, uh, they have found some of the polio. Individuals that might be susceptible, as you alluded to, definitely children who have not been vaccinated uh, might be susceptible. So it's extremely important to immunize them. Yeah, doctor, you know, I'm assuming when I was younger, my parents vaccinated me, but a lot of people have no idea. So how do you know if you've been vaccinated, if it's been a long time? Uh, there's two ways to know. Uh, first of all, obviously, you can always ask your parents. That's easy enough. Uh, second of all, is going uh, through your doctors and or looking for your medical records. Uh, theoretically, uh, can you, uh, I mean, if you can't find your records, can a blood test be done uh, to see if your antibodies are present? Yes, you can. The easiest thing, particularly for an adult, if in doubt, might be to go ahead and get a boost or vaccine to get your immunity going. Here in the United States, we give the vaccines to children ages two, four, six months of age, and then they get a booster four to six years of age. All right, Dr. Dodd, that's a lot of really great information, a lot of stuff that I think many of us yeah. didn't know. So thank you so much for your time and for educating You're all welcome. of us this morning.